Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Today is a significant birthday for me and I got something that I would like to share with you. My husband and my, one of my sons gave me a Wanderer Provoke 31 litre backpack with the photo bundle. In the photo bundle you get a cube to hold all those essential uh, photographic equipment and a few other things including some straps. A few other key elements about these backpacks are their pockets and storage, they, will, they also have a pocket for a 15 inch laptop and I'm going to stop talking and we're going to find out exactly what all these things look like. I'm so excited, you don't know how long I've been waiting to get my hands on one of these. Okay, here we go. And here it is, my Wanderer Provoke 31 backpack. We'll start at the top, work our way down. They are magnetic candles that just, oh wow, they actually go together really quickly. Then from there, we've got, we've got the clip that holds the roll top bit. Of course, a lot of this will need to be investigated at greater length. It comes off fairly easily. There's room to adjust it as needed. Lots of Velcro, and this is all potentially extra storage if I need it. So roll that back down. Where's it going? Okay, so this hook, uh, this has got lots of little hooks on it along the way for our latch to go in. And then there we go, back up the top, ready to go. Turning around to the back, lots of padding, padding in the straps, adjustable, I'm assuming that's part of your waist strap. What's this little pouch got in it? Is that in John? Oh, that's your passport. Um, little safety thing, so added extra safety, it's hidden on your back when you're wearing the backpack. A cup holder, pouch, water, water bottle, and this one is your side access to into the bag, so that when it's set up, we'll have the M50 in here, and we'll just be able to pull it out while we're going. This little pocket, which has got memory card spots, so we'll move into the rest of that later. Again, adjustable straps on both sides and now oh, and above the little rolly isn't that felt lined um, little pocket in the main body of the camera bag we have the Pouches for your laptop and uh, iPad or something if you want, tablet if you want it as well, or a magazine if you still read magazines. And into the camera pouch, where we have the removable pouch, which as you can see becomes a little package on its own. That's a good idea. I like that. In the camera pouch, you've got an area with adjustable compartments. These come out so that we can customise this space to fit all our camera needs. That's the camera bundle bit done. Then up here, oh, there's a few goodies in here. There's a little mesh pocket which accesses part of the actually all of the bottom of the roll bag. That's that pocket from the back. And then in here, we have some extra straps. Waist strap that has a little pocket for 
sunnies and maybe just a few. I don't think they're my sunnies, but maybe some money. A little bit of access to some of that stuff that you've got in here. So I guess when we were traveling, one of the things my hope is that my uh, day handbag will fit in here as well. So when we're actually traveling, I can just have this but easy access to my things. I've just found a waterproof cover. I'm not going to unfold it because once you unfold those things you can never get them back in but I'm assuming it's a waterproof cover for the bag for extra um, protection in wet weather and also all the front is tarpaulin so it's really uh, quite water resistant and should protect my stuff, our stuff if we get caught in the rain. I'll let you know how we find the Provo Wanderer Provoke 31. We're going to do a dummy pack over the next couple of days and set up the camera cube so that we're ready for our first road trip whenever that will be. And this will definitely be in those videos. So keep an eye out for my back. Something else I forgot while I was opening it yesterday was right down X. The extent of the front cover is this zip with this great little pouch. Good for storing some flat things. Inside here, the little pouch with the key for. Today I have had my first little play with the uh, Wanda Provoke camera cube. Um, let's see how I've set it up. Yeah, of course, there are a few elements missing in um, my setup at the moment because they're being used by other people in the household. But I've got my M50 and my uh, Rode Micro uh, Boom Mic ready and accessible. My Joby uh, Gorilla Pod and also probably another tripod will go there. I may move these things around a bit, of course. I've got my Rode Go microphone set, my uh, wide angle lens for my camera for taking photos. These are the ND filters for the action, which is being used by someone else in the house at the moment. And I've got a uh, extension hot shoe for that goes on the tripod of the action when I put the road goes on there when we're using that for vlogging. I hope you got value out of today. If you did, hit the like button. If there's any questions or anything you want me to um, investigate further about my Provoke 31, put it in the comments below. As always, thanks for joining me. Travel brilliantly. Bye. If you want to see more, why not check out the playlist above or find us on social.